Hey there everyone, Captain John here. Today we're taking this Van Hool. We're gonna pick up uh, Lady of Fatima Catholic Church and we're gonna head to Columbia State Park. I haven't been to Columbia State Park in many years. I've actually never taken a charter there. I've only been there on my own with family. Uh, so I'm looking forward to going. Uh, Columbia State Park in California is basically like a, a gold rush era preserved town. It's kind of like an old western town. Uh, a lot of history, so there's gonna be a lot of cool sights to see. It's a beautiful drive getting up there. We're gonna get to go through some uh, some wooded areas, so I'm looking forward to that. And I'm inviting you all to join me. Let's check out this Van Hoel real quick. This is the uh, 40 foot Van Hoel, so it's definitely one of the smaller ones. Well, it's not small, but you know what I mean. It's uh, still a large bus. This bus seats right there, it says 46 passengers. And of course, like all of our coaches, we have a lavatory. And that's it. So we're gonna get on the road now. I just finished my pre-trip. It's about a 12 minute drive over to the church to pick up our students. And we'll be on our way. And we made it to Columbia State Park. <clears throat> Kids were super excited. Got the bus parked right back there. And uh, like I said, I've never been here. Or it's been many years anyway. It's been well over you know, five, six, seven years. I mean, it's been a while, so let's go check it out. Well, according to this map, there is a lot to see. Definitely not gonna visit all this today. We're only here for a few hours. There is a living gold rush town, preserving the stories of miners and merchants. So this is where the uh, the, the name 49ers came from. He must have taken that picture on a smoky day. Check out the uh, woodwork on these uh, old buildings. I'm not sure what the year is on these buildings, but they definitely look old. The yeah, Fallon Hotel and Theater, established in 1857. There's an ice cream parlor. Looks like they're closed. Let's see what their hours are. Uh, Friday to Sunday only. So they're not going to be open today, unfortunately. Kind of looks like an old fashioned saloon the way they got it set up, but it's an ice cream parlor. So this is an actual active hotel. I'm not gonna go in because I'm not a guest, but I'm just looking in through the window. Looks very uh, antique. So here is Mason Hall. And it says here that this was erected in 1855 and restored in 1949. And as you can see here, it's got these uh, metal barriers around the original brickwork. I'm like, guessing the original brickwork, that way nobody hits them with the, with the vehicle and damages it. I'm guessing that's why that's there. Uh, looks like some sort of judicial thing here.
champion of champions of public education. Okay. Check this out. They have Braille here. That's pretty cool. And right next to the hotel, theater, and ice cream parlor, we have the uh, Columbia Gazette office. I'm guessing that was the uh, printing office, newspaper. Check that out. Too bad none of this is open. I don't know if it opens later today. Nope. Not open. So I'm not sure if uh, you got to come here on the weekend because the parlor said Friday through Sunday. So today's Thursday. However, my group has a private tour, which is right over there. They have a little private thing going on, so they may get access to some of this. I guess I, just, I should just follow them. Let's see what we got over here. Eagle Cottage. Must be another, uh, maybe another hotel or something. What's an Eagle Cottage? <laughs> Looks old. He's very excited about whatever he's saying. So we have a uh, park ranger over here doing his little... Here's the uh, mine supply store where you can actually pan for gold. I think I've done that at a Calico Ghost Town once. It's actually pretty fun. And there's the rest of the town. Now, I, I would assume on the weekends only as well, they have an actual stagecoach with horses that run up and down the street. That'd be really cool to see, but I doubt they're going to do that today. Yeah, Wells Fargo Express. See what they got going on in here. Excuse me, I'd like to make a withdrawal. This is hours 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Is that even a banker's hour? Oh, that is, right? Check that out. Those Fargo and Company. Imagine all the history just from this one little room right here. Quite amazing. Look at that scale. You can put your gold on there. Okay, no reflection out there. You put your gold on there and you can see how much it's worth. You get a gold scale. Similar to this, it was used by the Wells Fargo office in Columbia to, to weigh over 1.4 million ounces of gold. Mm. It's really cool. Like I said, a lot of history here. It's amazing. Works Mountain Stage Office. There you go. Quark Mountain Stage Line departs every 20 minutes. Inside $8, shotgun $14. I'm assuming these are today's rates, <laughs> not from the 1890s. But uh, like I said, they actually have a, they have a real uh, stagecoach with horses that actually run up and down these streets here. So I'm assuming this is where you probably buy those tickets. Let's open this. We can come in here and take a look. Got that safe. Safe one is in the money and all them bags. There's another bank. Bank hours, nine to three. It's not open. There you go, Douglas Saloon, offering a full assortment of choice domestic and imported beer and wine. Well, they're not open yet. And I don't think I can drink any beer or wine right now since we are driving students, driving a bus. But there you go. Those are the prices. Actually, not bad. Eh? Four eighty-eight for a hot dog. Let's see, 
had it built for ten dollars. Judicial Township. Hmm. Is that a noose on the table? I guess the, uh, the jury must be deliberating today if they got the noose out already. Check this out. This is our working kitchen. The equipment tools are from the 1800s. The marble tables were quarried here in Columbia. Yeah, he's actually making something in there. He's making something yummy. Because that table is actually made right here in Columbia. Making some candy canes, maybe. Hey, Nelson, you got a store here. Nelson's Candy Kitchen. You can just imagine how busy the street is on a weekend with everybody here. I hear a blacksmith. You hear that in the background? Blacksmith doing his thing. Columbia Museum. Let's take a quick look. Berkeley, California. You see these around in California, especially if you're driving down uh, El Camino Real or Highway 1. This is, uh, you see these everywhere. It's a historic uh, uh, route. So you got a candle courtyard over there. It's not open. You got a books store. Got some photography if you want to get like an old fashioned picture taken. You can do all that at Calico Ghost Town as well. It's usually pretty fun. But this is what's catching my attention. I want to check out the blacksmith. He's in there hammering away. Now, I've actually bought one of these before when I was here years ago, like I said. I bought a horseshoe. And I have my family name printed on the horseshoe and I have it hanging on the door uh, at the, into the entrance of my house. Let's check it out. Actual uh, blacksmith doing some work in here. I'm not sure what that means no narrating. Hello. Hey, how you doing? It was like campfire in there. Johnson's livery, horse bought, sold, and treated. There's some uh, old buggies in here. This must be a hearse. And these are the, probably the vehicles you'd be see going up and down Main Street here during uh, Columbia's heyday, back during the gold rush, 1800s. And we got some more touristy stuff over here. You got a, a tea house and you got a, I don't know, boutique. Those are definitely not my cup of tea, so I think I'm gonna pass going up that way. I can just imagine this back in the 1800s, this just being all a dirt road. I doubt it was paved like this. Yeah, looks like we got another bookstore, stationery, and fancy goods. We have to stop on there and get a souvenir. Another museum. Oh, there's a bowling alley. Check out the sidewalk. It's actually a, a wood sidewalk. <laughs> Check this whole bowling alley. See here? Those are bowling balls. I'm just wonder if they would 
let you play this. It looks kind of antique. I doubt it must not be an antique if they actually let you play on it. Because uh, that wouldn't be good if it was an actual antique, but still pretty, uh, pretty cool to see. That's how they looked back in the day, I guess. Back in the 1800s. And of course, you know, you can step up to the bar, get you a drink while you're playing uh, bowling and your card table with some poker. And if you need some uh, Western attire, they got you covered. And across the street is the City Hotel. I doubt it's a working hotel like the other one. The other one's actually, actually a hotel. This one might be just for show, but let's take a look. You know, it looks like it's an actual hotel. Like, I don't have a room, so I'm not gonna go in there. They even have a, it's like some fancy dining going on also. I think that'd be pretty cool to do, stay in a hotel like this. Get all fancy up in your Western attire. Have a nice steak dinner there. That sounds like a lot of fun, actually. Wilson McConnell House is locked. I can see the padlock right there on the gate, so I'm not going to go in there. I've got that park ranger behind me. Right there. He's right there behind me. He's got his phone out and doing something also. I doubt he's doing a vlog like me. He's probably just doing some sort of uh, something official. And there's your historic fire truck. Work through there where I can barely get a view of it. Got it well protected with all this uh, <laughs> mesh screening going on. But there it is. And got a store. Oh, look who's, hiding. look who's hiding in the back over here. You see that? Let's see, who, let's go see who's hiding back here. Who's hiding behind the California store? Check that out. Walk slow so we don't scare him. Or maybe walking slow would scare him, I'm not sure. <laughs> wow, look at some big chickens. What's up, guys? Hi. What are you guys doing? Hi. I just came to say hello. I want to check you out. You want to come say hi? Hey, come here. How you doing? Hi. How are you? What's going on? Yeah, I see ya. Yeah, you're a pretty chicken, aren't you? Oh, here comes another one. Yeah, you can't really tell, but I got some more in there eating. Plucking away at whatever they're eating in there. Alright, see, see you guys later. Have a good day. It looks like we've come to the uh, end of the street that they have blocked out for pedestrians only. There's definitely more around here. Squirrel. Can't zoom in. There it is. It's a big fast squirrel over there. And then we have the general merchandise. Beer, wines, sodas. Where's that, where'd that sign go? And there it is right there. Here. That store over there says, uh, ladies and minors welcome. <laughs> St. Charles Saloon. So I guess ladies or minors weren't welcome in the saloon back in the day, I'm guessing. Doesn't look open yet, but yeah, there it is. It's an actual saloon. Too bad they didn't have the swinging doors so we could do the whole push the doors open and walk in and everyone turn and look at you. Make sure you check in your guns at the door. Again, there's a lot of historical stuff around this area. I'm not gonna go exploring too much. There's just a ton of stuff. You could definitely spend 
a day or two here at Columbia State Park. There's really a lot to see, uh, but the main thoroughfare is Main Street. It's blocked off for pedestrians only, and they do have the stagecoaches that run up and down the streets as well. Too bad they don't have that going today. That would have been really cool to see. I just love these wooden sidewalks. I think that's so cool. That's how it was back in the day, wooden sidewalks. But this would be all dirt. Wouldn't be asphalt like that. Or, or brick like this. This is too cool. Got something else going on over here. What got here? Got soup of the day, coffee. Lots of nice coffee. Let me grab an, uh, I'll get an uh, iced coffee, uh, short. Short? Did you yeah. want room for cream? Um, short, yeah. Cream and sugar. So that opened on the inside. So uh, we can only order here at the window. Thanks, sir. How much is that gonna be? Uh, 275. 275, that's not 1890s prices. <laughs> well, I guess we, we have to uh, support this community, right? They got to make their money somehow, so. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Actually, they gave me a whole tray here. Be careful. Let's come to this table right here. Sugar. All right, got my iced coffee. Supporting the local town here, making sure they uh, stay in business. A lot of companies are uh, trying to do that now after COVID. They're trying to recover. A lot of companies did not recover. A lot of companies aren't gone forever. So I'm glad to see this uh, state park is still here and they're trying to do what they can. Dentist office. So I'm drinking some sugary coffee. Let's see what kind of dentist they got here in this town. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that would definitely scare me if I saw that coming to a dentist office. I mean, I guess it's not that much different than what we see today, but uh, they don't take it out of a wood box like that. <laughs> Look at that old dental chair. It's almost like a barbershop chair. I wonder if I wonder if it uh, if it doubles as that. Maybe it's the same company that makes the chairs. I'm sure. I'm sure you can read up on that here somewhere, but not that big of a history buff. I just like looking at it. <laughs> that drugstore. Got all those pills and medications and drugs. Is that uh, some sort of potion? <laughs> Carnation pink, oh, those must be like um, fragrances, colognes and perfumes. This is just a drugstore though. It's not like a CVS or a Walgreens where they have everything else. Look at that, glasses. Some reading glasses. Those are actually pretty, old, pretty cool looking glasses. Don't think I'd wear them, but they look pretty cool. Well, that pretty much does it for the main street here. I'm heading back now. Uh, my tour group's gonna meet me back at the bus around in about the next 20 minutes or so so they can grab their lunches off the bus and have their lunch. And while they do that, I'm gonna go find something to eat around here also. There's a uh, little place over here that sells Mexican food. Might try that out. Mexican sounds good. Or I might just try one of these uh, restaurants right here on Main Street. We'll see. We'll see how I feel when I come back. I'm 
so I stopped and talked to that park ranger that was doing his little video thing, like what I'm doing. Uh, and he's actually live. <laughs> he's actually live with uh, a group of students at a school down in San Diego. And they're doing some sort of a virtual tour. And they're actually, he's actually asking them, where do you want to go next? And things like that. Uh, so he actually, you know, pushed me on this thing and talked to me for a few minutes. So I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, I'm getting lost here. <laughs> Got to pay, pay attention to where I'm going. Check out that rock formation. That's pretty cool. And it was where we had a conversation about how, you know, these kids are from Modesto. And... They've never been here, we're only an hour away. And uh, you already know, on my last SPAB trip, you know, I took that group of Modesto students to San Francisco. They've never even left Modesto, so they were just in awe, you know, of everything that they were seeing and what we're showing them. And I think that's one of the funnest parts about doing the school trips, and probably my favorite part about charter in general, is, uh, you know, you just have this amazing, cool vibe with everyone that's going on this trip. I mean, think back when you guys were kids. It wasn't like amazing. Oh my gosh, we're going on a field trip. You're so excited. Even though it was just a Columbia State Park, you know. It's nowhere spectacular, but still, you get to go on a big bus that some of these kids have never even been on a bus like this before. You know, oh, only school buses. So they get in this big old fancy bus and get to go on a trip with all their friends. And, you know, you get, you get that vibe from them. So... It's just a very positive experience, you know, it beats other jobs where, you know, you're in law enforcement and you're dealing with, you know, negative stuff pretty much all day long. Uh, I'm not going to say truck driving, which I did before, is bad because I really did enjoy that job. Um, but you just don't get that same excitement in that job that you do here, uh, you know, with the customer service side of it anyway, and getting to explore things like this big difference you know I can say the same thing about trucking there's things you can do there that's very fun that you can't do as a charter driver but that's not part of that's not what this video is about today so anyways let's go meet these kids so they can eat lunch all right so we just uh, gave the kids their lunch and uh, I'm gonna head over here one of my co-workers another driver here said that uh, the Mexican restaurant is really good, so we're gonna go check that out. All right, here it is, El is it El Jardin, El Jardin, fine Mexican cuisine. some sauce and delicious chips. Check that out. Looks like homemade chips right there. All right, so here's their menu. I think I'm gonna go with some enchiladas. I like enchiladas. Their enchiladas and combination is $11.95. I think that's the winner right there. I'm gonna get the uh, enchilada, cheese enchilada. Delicious. With, uh, let's do red sauce. Okay. And we're just looking for one with rice and beans? Yeah, that's fine. I got you. Beautiful. All right, that'll be out for Salsa. It's actually pretty good. I'm not sure what this is. This is uh, supposed to be picked up It don't look that good, but it's actually pretty good. And this is what we're dealing with. We've got some rice and beans, obviously, and my uh, cheese enchilada. I love enchiladas. Let's try, Let's try this thing.
very good. All right, just had some amazing uh, Mexican food over here. Try not to get hit while I'm crossing the street. <laughs> so if you guys ever do make it over here to El Jardin, there's an El Jardin, I should have asked. Anyways, go in there and talk to Avery. You let her know that Captain John sent you. Uh, amazing staff, amazing food. Uh, so that's pretty much going to do it for, for this episode, guys. Um, Columbia State Park. It's a great little place uh, to come visit, bring the family. <clears throat> nice little historic town. Uh, I really wish I could have seen the uh, horse and buggy. Yeah, I know I've said that a few times. But I think that's a, that's just an amazing little touch that they do here. It's pretty cool. Uh, plenty of shops and eateries and all kinds of cool stuff over here. Uh, and, of course, across the street you have El Jardin. El Jardin. Sorry, Avery. <laughs> but uh, definitely go check them out. Awesome Mexican food. So now we're going to head back to the bus. Wait for the kids to get back. Get them back to their school down in Modesto. And call it a day. And there's our bus waiting for us right over there. So that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Really appreciate you all for being here. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to leave uh, El Jardin's information in the description box below. Make sure you check them out if you are in town. And we will see you all down the road.